Considering there are literally thousands of community servers to pick from, it can be quite the task to find the right one for you. So here, I'll talk about some of the best servers on PlayStation you might not know about. I'll say why they're so good, what they offer, plus any other information I think is relevant so you can decide which one is best for you. I'll try to include a server type for everyone, but if I don't mention a server you think should be on the list, drop it in the comments. I write down and check out every server recommended to me. So your comment really does make a difference. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. I really want more PlayStation players on my channel. It's such a great part of the Daisy community. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Oh, God. Wow. I sent that guy to heaven quick. Firstly is the Curse of Janaris. This is a 32 slot server where map wide kill on site sets the stage for high stakes survival. Offering both controller and mouse and keyboard support, features like cannabis cultivation, fully functioning cars and military trucks are all easy to come by. Weekly events and boosted animal populations keep the environment full of life. One of the best features of this server is the offer of custom bases which are available to a a limited number. Specialized six hour raid windows on Saturdays add an extra layer of excitement to these custom bases too. It adds a real cool twist. With double loot and a customized safe zone, the Curse of Chinaris offers a comprehensive and just exciting daisy experience. Seriously, do not sleep on this server. Next is a server called Daisy Central 2. This 64 slot server is set on Chinaris. It does have a PC style map boosting immersion to new levels. There are daily events, boosted loot and unlimited stamina for those wanting it. You can also build anywhere and relax because it has weekend raids only. Special features like shorter nights, a hotter climate and coloured weapons add to the unique spin to what most players expect. While bunkers, airdrops and keycard rooms give a fun and carefully designed time. Daisy Central 2 offers a well regulated feature rich Daisy experience and the admin are always around to make sure the rules are followed. Then this is the Apocalypse Asylum. This is a fairly new US based server set in Chernaris. It offers a unique blend of PvE gameplay with designated PvP zones, mouse and keyboard support along with an in-game map to help find your location, which is done as well as you can do it on console with a link leading to iSurvive. It's quite a useful system for anyone struggling to learn the map. This server has a whitelist, 3 times loot, fully built castles and unlimited stamina. Weekend base raiding adds a layer of strategy while full vehicles with extra parts make travel a breeze. The server supports factions with perks. You also start your journey with 5k balance in your discord based economy and a safe way to trade within designated zones. Custom spawns, events and quests keep the gameplay fresh and engaging. I really enjoyed my time on this server. But moving on, we have Datora RP, which is a 24 slot server that offers a hardcore daisy experience with a focus on realism. Set on Chinaris, this server features no whitelist allowing for easy access to all players. I've added a few with no whitelist here because it's such a highly requested feature. Hardcore loot spawns and pristine cars means you're well equipped but never too comfortable. Unique features like a modification to the nature add a layer of challenge to the environment with in-game and discord currencies trading becomes a strategic element of survival. This is all supplemented with specialized traders, faction bases with stories behind them and derelict settlements which add a layer of lore and exploration opportunities. Datora RP offers a balanced immersive hardcore experience even if I can't pronounce it. Then there's A1 Survive. This modest population server is set in Chernaris and offers a unique blend of strategy and community. With more weekend only raids short nights, unlimited stamina and slightly boosted loot, players can enjoy a balanced survival experience. The server features specialized traders like the black market and a weed trader for anyone wanting drugs, which I know is quite a lot of people, adding depth to your trading options. Weekly events with prizes and an active discord community complete with its own currency make this more than worth looking into. Unlimited stamina and fully equipped cars ensure you're always ready for what lies ahead. 
Next is SOS and WAF Spawns. This 32 slot server is set on Chinaris and is tailored for PlayStation players who crave immersion. Whether you're a PvP enthusiast or a team player, this server offers a mode to suit your style and even offers zones for PvE and RP. It has unlimited stamina and faster movement speed, plus special base damage events from Fridays to Saturdays making weekends a battleground. Trade safely in dedicated zones and engage in community driven events as a faction or a solo, which is how I played it. This server works hard to keep every moment thrilling and exciting, and once you learn what it's about, it's honestly really fun. Next is Chill Daisy Community. This is a modest 16 slot sanctuary designed for players who prefer a PvE focused experience on a Chernoris map. With a whitelist for added security and mouse and keyboard support, this server offers a comfortable and flexible gameplay environment. It has 2 hour days and 30 minute nights, unique features like custom loot systems, fully built cars and unlimited stamina which makes survival enjoyable. The server even offers slightly increased zombies and wildlife populations for added challenge and borders the realms of hardcore. Don't let this small slot size put you off though. With a friendly community and staff, the server is easily a go to for a well paced daisy experience. And also server slot sizes don't actually matter, with most servers often increasing the size to meet the demand. But next is a server called Australia Warfare, which is a 42 slot server set on Chinaris that has high loot and intense PvP action. This is because it has cool custom Northwest airfield spawns. With active staff and a starting credit of 20k for trading, you're well equipped from the get go. There are cool server events, factions to join and the ability to trade safely within a 300 meter safe zone. So although it can be PvP focused, it does have the opportunity to unwind. It also has fully kitted Humvees and free build trucks. Special features like raid weekends, unlimited stamina and minimal zombies in military zones make this server a PvP paradise for those who just want to get down to business. But don't be confused, there's more than just PvP, it's a really solid server. Now there are many PvP only servers and they are great for boosting your fighting skills, but the majority of them run like a brick. So I've tried to focus on a fun experience but also a stable one, as stable as a PvP server can be, which is what brought me to Blackout. Nice. Specifically, Blackout Northwest Airfield, which is a full PvP only server. It also comes with a US and EU server too. It offers a lot of gunplay, heavily modded, with every spawn point located around the Northwestern Airfield. So even when you die, you're never out of the action for too long. Next up is The Resurgence. This is US based, offering a 64 slot server set on Chernoris. This server offers a well rounded daisy experience catering to PvP, PvE, and role playing enthusiasts alike. With an active trader and keycard rooms, you'll find ample opportunities for loot and trade. And speaking of loot, this server is boosted and has full built cars and an abundance of cannabis, which makes for some epic raiding moments, but only on the weekends. With a kill feed and keyboard support, you're always in the loop and in control. This server is genuinely worth checking out. But if this still isn't what you're looking for, then check out this video here, which gives you so many more servers to check out or check this video here for something completely different but as always until next time